If you have not been band walking before today, I really hope that's going to change. So I'm going to teach you how to band walk and how important it is. So walking, your spiritual journey is important and your physical journey as well. We're going to read from Galatians 5, 22 through 26. Fruit of the Spirit and walking with the Spirit. So, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited provoking and envying each other. All right. So when I band walk, I think of keeping in step with the spirit. So there's different levels of band walking. My favorite, because I like it to be more difficult, is to put it at the bottom of my feet. And if you're a man with hairy legs, um, you might want to not put it up here because it'll pull your leg hair but put it around your feet but if you want this to be more um, more or less difficult then you'll take it higher and even higher to be less difficult if you're a beginner so what you're going to do is you're going to lead with your hips because you're band walking you want this to be a strengthening move for your glute medius Okay, so we're going to walk side to side with our band. And if you find it to be too easy up on your thighs, then lower it to your calves. And now it's going to be a little bit more difficult like that. And I'm gonna show it to you from the side as well. So if you have an anterior pelvic tilt, you might look like this. And as you're going back and forth, you're not activating the muscles you need to activate. So you wanna think about tucking that pelvis under, tighten your core, tighten your glutes, and now do your band walking. And keep your core tight. So you should really feel this in your core and your glutes. Now, if you wanna take it one more level, put it at your feet. And now that's gonna be the most difficult and we're gonna walk like this, making sure that core is tight. All right, and to the other side. Woo. All right, so that is regular side to side band walking. Now there's also monster walking, which you can put the band, now you will have to put this band around your ankles and you're going to do a heel toe heel toe heel toe and you're going to keep that band separated the whole time then you're going to take it back with a toe heel toe heel toe heel toe heel toe heel, toe, heel and heel toe heel toe heel toe heel toe heel toe heel toe heel just like that. And then we're gonna put this band back around the bottoms of our feet or wherever you want it to be. And we're gonna do singles. Singles is a real loop burner here. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna try to take it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six five four three two and one all right now i'm going to show you all right let's do a little bit of a tfl stretch here because this might have burned your hips that's because you were working your glute medius which is a good thing and then we're going to do a walk for stretching your piriformis so this is going to be a figure four walk you might need to do this holding on to something and then you'll just do it like this, stationary, 
holding on, but if your balance is fine, then you're going to take it like this and just walk and stretch out that piriformis. All right. And then we're going to hold this and finish things off with a static piriformis stretch. And that will help with that activation for your glutes because a lot of times your piriformis takes over the work that your glute medius should be doing and that's why your glute medius gets weak and your piriformis gets tight. All right, so make sure your piriformis is stretched out and your glute medius is getting strong. All right, so that's a fun little sequence to do for different kinds of walks and will strengthen all the muscles in your legs, help your knees get stronger, help your ankles, and definitely your glutes. So I will see you tomorrow for another day of strengthening and scripture reading. See you then. Bye-bye.